among the biggest complaints about AMD's new AM5 motherboards are their expensive pricing and they support only DDR5 frame. AMD has always been known to provide good solutions for budget PC users. But initial pricing of Ryzen 7000 processors, AM5 motherboard, and DDR5 RAM were inaccessible for those with limited budget, while X670 motherboards are for high end computers, and B6050 motherboards are for mid range computers. The upcoming S620 motherboard will be for the low end solution. It is a continuation of the previous A320 and A520 chipsets for AM4 circuits. The Eurasian Economic Commission has recently listed a number of A620 motherboard models from ASUS and Gigabyte. AMD promised that $125 motherboards will be available, and this could refer to the A620 boards. Even so, it is still comparatively more expensive than the current A320 motherboards that are now sold for as low as $70. The company is yet to provide us with technical specification of A620 motherboards. However, it is likely that they will have fewer PCI lengths and lower PCI standards. Instead of PCIe Gen 5, the upcoming low-cost chipset may have only PCIe Gen 4 or Gen 3, with Ryzen 7600X currently sold for $250 and a pair of 8GB 4800MHz DDR5 RAM is less than $100. Budget users need to spend $500 for they allocate more money for GPU, SSD, and other components. Intel currently offers a more reasonable solution with low-end X610 motherboards that are available for as low as $80. The 13th gen Core i5 13600K is sold for $320, but it is noticeably faster and also has internal GPU, which is adequate for basic computing tasks. Thank you for visiting my channel and see you in my next videos.